All right. Well, hi, everybody. This is Sonia Miller, founder of SuccessForTheSoul.com and author of The Attraction Distraction, Why the Law of Attraction Isn't Working for You and How to Get Results Finally. I'd like to welcome everyone to the call. This is the first of a two-part teleclass entitled Manifestation Reality Check, the three biggest law of attraction distortions that block seekers from successful manifestations. So I'd like to welcome everyone who's here. Um, and this free teleseries is really about offering people an opportunity to go deeper with the idea of manifestation and uh, really understand the subtle nuances and the advanced principles that uh, when you know them can make all the difference in the world, and when you don't know them can really be a source of frustration. And for anyone who is called to this path, um, probably anyone who's here has had their, their fair share of frustration and also inspiration, you know, really either believing in, you know, there's there are these universal principles, I believe in this stuff, I've practiced a lot of attraction, and there's still places that um, – I'm not getting the results I want. So that's what this teleseries is about. It's both about just really offering a place to open some doors and also introduce people to uh, the inspiration and the information that makes going deeper and learning and growing possible. So um, it's an opportunity to connect with what we do here at Success for the Soul, and it's really all about supporting seekers and really awakening to their their natural born genius you know as expressions of source and their power to manifest in their lives so thank you for being here and for those of you who will be joining us on the audio thank you for joining us on the audio and being part of this this collective energy um, of like-minded and like-hearted people so um, my intention for all of you is that you walk away from this class really getting that you can manifest your dreams that you are powerful creators, that there are concrete tools that you can learn and use to produce real-life results. And I really hope that you all, you know, get that when it looks like it's, quote-unquote, not working, it's not because the concept is flawed, the law of attraction doesn't work, um, you know, this is all a bunch of hooey. It's just that it's you, it's not working because you need to go deeper to another level of understanding. So I also intend that from this class you'll walk away with some very specific energetic tools that you can start using immediately and start activating some shifts in your life and just and just really experiencing firsthand how this all works. All right? So let's get into the heart of the call. Distortion number one. Manifestation is about the manifestations. That's the distortion, okay? And the truth is, no, it's not. It's about you as the creator. And what I want to talk about in terms of what this shift means is there's, there's a lot to this, but the thing I want to highlight today is understanding a couple basic things. First of all, and this is something I talk a lot about in my book and in all of my, my classes, my intensive and my year-long um, mastery circle, there's a basic foundational principle that is a very basic paradigm, and that is that there is only one source, one source and infinite channels uh, for manifestation. And part of understanding the idea that there's only one source is understanding how that can be and, and what that can look it's – it's a hard thing for the mind to wrap itself around, but – I'm going to just talk a little bit about it before I go into what it means to see yourself as creator. So this idea that there's only one is a ancient, you know, eternal concept in Eastern traditions and um, in mystical teachings and in, in many bodies of knowledge. And so this idea that there's one source, you can call it God, the infinite, spirit, source, energy, the quantum field, whatever name you're comfortable with, there's only one. And that means that you and I and the phone that you're using and the air we breathe and the stars we look at, it's all one. There's only one, and that one is energy. That's one way of looking at it. We have to put it in a language, but, you know, these are like beyond human understanding concepts. Um, I always had a hard time wrapping my brain around that idea, like oneness, like what does that mean? So I always like the analogy of, the individual drop of water is one with the ocean. So 
there's there's an ocean, which is all there is, if you use the metaphor. Then there's the individual drop of uh, infinite numbers of individual drops of water that make up the ocean. So the individual drop of water has the same properties or qualities as the ocean. And it can also separate from the ocean and go off and have a different experience, go evaporate into the sky, go into a stream, a river, a bodily fluid, and yet it's still one with the ocean. Its essence is the same. So when I say you are one with source, your essence is that of source. So when you understand that source is, all that's good, everything that we could ever want, source is love. Is It's infinite. I mean, just contemplating what infinite is. Source is infinite. So that means source is well-being, freedom, power, peace, life, joy, all that's good, abundance, health. It means that you are that. You are one with source. So you are a creator. Source is creation. Source is creator. Um, and so that idea then makes it a little bit easier to understand that when we say that you are creator, that you are a creator, yet your experience might be, well, if I was, then, then where's all this power? How do I tap into it? Well, part of what we do as expressions of creator, of source energy, is to, and I, I can't go into this today, but basically we go into this illusion, this human experience. And so part of how we do that, which is for our soul's expansion and evolution, is to go into this illusion and forget that we are all that we are, forget that we're infinite. And so we take on this limited perspective, which is the ego self. So there's the ego self, which is the limited you, the small you, and then there's the soul self, which is the broader aspect of you that knows your oneness with source or has access to that infinite nature, all right? So let's talk a little bit about the ego self and the soul self because then that starts to lend itself to understanding how, to, how focusing on your self as creator is really where the manifestation opens up for you. Your ego self is the part of you that operates in this delusion, this physical realm from your five senses and basically believes and engages in this physical realm as if it's real. So if you walk around thinking that this is real, of course, everything you engage in, you're going to interact with it uh, in, in a way, always trying to have it be the best possible situation that you, you can have. So people have goals and dreams to manifest, and this is the primary motivating factor for your ego self. I want to improve or create something outside in my world. I want this manifestation so that I can feel better. That's why we do it. It's not even about those things. It's about what we think those things will provide us with or give us or activate within us. Okay, that's the ego's realm, all right? The soul, you're still – that's. You are your soul, all right? So it's not like there's your ego and then it's your soul and they're separate. It's that the soul contains the ego. And the soul is that broader perspective that connects to source. Now, your soul knows that you don't need all that stuff outside of you to be happy, whole, prosperous, healthy, because you already are that. So your soul knows that it's not those things outside of you that are going to be fulfilling for you. It's remembering who you are, which means opening up to your true nature, experiencing your infinite nature, allowing that to flow and express through you. And guess what happens? As more and more of that part of you shows up in your life, is free to be expressed, the manifestations just happen because everything Everything that you want in your life is already here as energy. Once you can really let that flow by remembering who you are, the manifestations happen. 